Hello everybody, Beast Quackalhausen here, Jay from Upside Up Productions, and right now in front of you I've got a brand new 2014 LEGO City set, the 60059 Logging Truck. This set comes with 228 pieces and costs 20 bucks. Uh, it's a really cool set, you can see right here you got logs right there, the logging truck itself, two minifigures of course, and then the two little saplings. Anyway, let's take a look at those minifigures and get on with the review. And here they are. Uh, they're a little bit boring, but still pretty cool. Nothing really we've seen new in the line, uh, but some pretty cool parts overall. You can see as you go around, I mean, just really nice figures, I guess. Um, no back printing on the one on the right with the dark blue. Uh, that's just because it's an old uh, torso piece. Uh, the one on the right, of course, much newer flannel shirt look with the utility belt or uh, tool belt. And that does have back printing and it looks really good. Uh, the guy on the left, in the blue, well now on the right, does of course have that new style peaked hat with the hole for ear protection. But he's actually not really the one that should be wearing ear protection because of that awesome, awesome chainsaw. Uh, it's really cool, the pieces that they use right there, yeah. Just these pieces, the uh, gray little chainsaw piece. I remember having those in transparent orange a long, long time ago, which is a weird color but it's got little orange pieces on it that make it look just like a real chainsaw. That little cone, that one by one round tile, which you actually get two of, so it only tells you to put it on one side, but you really should put it on both. Of course, it's a gun piece on the top. So really that chainsaw and just, I mean, they're okay figures, but that chainsaw makes the figure protection really cool. So these logs, there are two identical ones and they seem pretty simple at first. And I mean, they're pretty simple when you get into it. Um, they're just a stack of 10 2x2 two two round bricks with one of the 2x2 two two round tiles with the little hooks in the middle. But to make sure that they don't get they don't fall apart too easily, down the center, yeah, there are two of them. Down the center, there is a Technic pole beam down it, like a little cross axle. So um, I think it's pretty cool that they have two of these logs. I would have maybe liked if there were more, the truck looks a little bit empty when it doesn't have as many logs, but I mean I'm glad they went for the truck design, it would not have been good if they had sacrificed good truck design just to give us three rather boring kind of logs. So now on to the two saplings that come with the set. Uh, they're very very simple, I mean they're just the two one piece saplings. Um, and they seem to be a bit strange to include in the set. Just because it doesn't, like, two cut down logs and two saplings does not really make a forest scene. But I don't really think you're supposed to. What I kind of imagine these as being are little saplings and Lego City, the logging guys, are being very environmentally friendly by having these two saplings. Now, they're very hard to fit onto the truck. I usually have to plug them together like this and try to hold them together and then cram them into the truck underneath the chains. And they're just kind of hard to transport, especially with the logs. Now you wouldn't usually have to do that because the logs, of course, would go in and then they plant the sapling things right away in order to be like tree neutral, to not cut down any trees, to plant new trees, to be environmentally friendly. But really that's my only concern about these little saplings. So now we're on to the big part of the set, the truck. And I'll be honest, at first I wasn't super sold on this whole set idea, it's just like not really belonging in the city theme but of course it's just like a regular flatbed truck it's got the little stakes there to hold the logs in just like that and i mean i it actually looks really good the two logs do fit in perfectly a uh, big huge crane on the back is if you just kind of you can reach perfectly it's got full 360 degree spin and if you just open up the claws or the fingers a little bit you can clamp down on the log and lift it right out just as you'd want to and that's really good. I like that feature and I like that it w actually works. The claw is a little bit hard to use just because you have to do each finger individually and that top is a little bit clunky. But I mean, I think it really works and I think it's definitely cool. I'm very excited to see if I can use that in a freeway chase. They have the bad guys like driving around in the truck with the big claw on it. Of course, I can dump the logs and whatnot. It's going to be great. But you can see the crane here. It's got a bit of Technic in it to make sure it's extra strong. And of course, there's a seat up there for the operator. Now around here, this actually is one of my favorite parts. 
I almost fell off the stand. But right there, you can see it's just like a plate right here stuck over this. And I think that really helps giving it, it the industrial look. Like they added this thing just to make sure nobody's like fingers would get, their fingers, like legs actually would get caught. The chains, of course, go right over from this, each of the stakes to hold it all in. And I mean, they hold the log well. Right up in the front here, this piece over the hood is gunmetal, which is interesting. It's like a jail door piece, and it's probably to protect the top of the hood from being like smashed by the logs and whatnot, which is another cool industrial detail. Uh, from the front, you can actually see that that bottom section, the front bumper, is one big sticker, just like that. And I mean, I kind of wish it was two, I guess, or maybe, I don't know, but it makes that license plate a little bit harder to use other vehicles. The front of the front is made up of grill tiles, no big sticker. Another sticker on the side here that should have been pieces um, are is that should have been grill brick with a smaller brick because the panels the way it is now leave a gap like that in the back. So this set does have rear view mirrors of course, uh, they're just a little bit folded out, they're a bit big but they're always pretty big. And of course car doors which have become pretty standard. And I wonder why we haven't seen like a green regular car in Lego City in a while. I know we just got a green pickup truck in some super expensive police helicopter thing, but I'm not planning on getting that, so oh well. Around the back there is, it's a bit weird to get that strange blue stripe. No license plate sticker, because if it was on it would have had to be across multiple pieces. So that means the back is a little bit broken up. I wish there had been maybe a different solution, some overhanging piece, but oh well. So these two clips on the side here are obviously for attaching the accessories, just like the chainsaw, and that actually seems super, super dangerous to me, is just have a chainsaw clamped to the outside back of your truck. I mean, I don't know. So the shovel, of course, a bit less dangerous, also clips on. It's a little bit very standard kind of Lego to have things clipped to the side of the vehicle, but I guess chainsaw. So right there is a really cool detail, stairs, you get the little lights, and of course the big anti-dent thing on the top. And inside, I mean, there's not much of an interior, so you get the standard mug uh, to prove you're allowed to drive the vehicle, and the guys have to sit on the floor. There's a steering wheel. So anyway, that's about the whole set. I mean, it's a bit strange for your city. If you're really hurting for uh, vehicles, it's definitely a good one to pick up. And if you think you can make a cool sequence or whatever with that big claw, also definitely worth picking up. But I mean, honestly, it's not my super most favorite of the line, um, of this year's great vehicles line. I'm definitely happy to have it and I'd probably buy it again. But I mean, if, you, if you're not really animating or whatever, I don't know, this set's about per personal preference, really. I like the way it looks, I think it's very cool, and I I think I'd get it again, and that's about it. Anyway, uh, be sure to tell me what you think about this set in the comments, and to check out my other reviews, as well as my other videos. I'm gonna be trying to post more stuff this year than I did last year, so definitely, like, subscribe, and that's about it. Anyway, uh, remember, I've been B. Schweikelhausen, and I will see you next time.